market scenario in the surface and coatings industry, yes. some trends, technology? Okay. Uh, we are representing a, one of the third largest uh, additive supplier for a process called as electroplating. Electroplating is one of the five processes which are used world over uh, in order to protect metals against corrosion. Now, uh, this process uh, requires use of energy, uh, use of uh, uh, equipments and use of chemistry in order to ensure consistency of results. And one of the largest uh, end user of electroplating process are fastener manufacturers. And if uh, a car uh, breaks down because of fastness breaking down, uh, you know uh, it will result into death for somebody. So we are holding ourselves responsible for the safety of an uh, individual or a passenger or an owner of a car by ensuring that the corrosion standards on fasteners which are used for the entire assembly of a car uh, are kept to the global standards. And we being a global company originating out of France uh, with an history since 1927, uh, even though in India we are three years old, uh, this organization as such is uh, uh, as old as 1927. So whatever global experience we have got in terms of ensuring the value additions that happen with respect to safety, uh, we are trying to do through the process of electroplating. And that's what we do in Pune. We have a miniature pilot line which simulates a lot of activities that happens probably at the end user, uh, problems that are simulated and then solutions that are found out. So to a, give a small example, a two-wheeler manufacturer had approached us. He was expecting a corrosion resistance uh, to the tune of 240 hours, uh, which was the present one, three years back. And today he came back and said, can I have it in 500 hours? So we have helped him to go up to 500 hours, which means about five years of performance warranty that he can give in the booklet that he publishes when the customer buys his vehicle. So that's the type of uh, interactive uh, enhancements that we carry out, uh, whosoever tries to approach us. Okay. Sir, I know you are not supposed to reveal the name of the two-wheeler manufacturer, but it will be good if you can give me the information. I will give you post the interview. <laughs> Fine. Okay, sir. And uh, just to, uh, on the same subject, you know, what are the challenges the surface and coatings industry is facing in India? Since you come from a company that has so much experience and it's a western country you know which is said to be better in terms of technology and yeah, all I'll, I'll give you a small story when my board comes to india okay uh, they always compliment us for the mechanical engineering knowledge that we have the brains that we have because india produces the third largest scientific manpower per year passing out graduates engineers science graduates etc so when they say that you have such a brilliant uh, engineering brain why is it that the surface finishing finishing brain uh, is not at global standards so that's the real challenge that I look at it as a person who sells additives for the process of electroplating because electroplating as a process is polluting no doubt about it to a certain extent but all processes that are used for manufacturing a car or a two-wheeler are also polluting so the the question is if I understand what pollutes, I know how to control it as well. But electroplating being uh, a process which is outsourced at tier 4 level by most of the auto OEMs, whether it's a car manufacturer, a truck or a two-wheeler manufacturer, gets disrespect. And that's one of our missions as an uh, additive uh, supplier uh, with a mission to keep uh, five continents green. If you look at our logo, we have five petals and the color is green. That means we are really committed to ensure that the continents remain uh, green, environmentally safe and the fourth generation probably from now onwards is able to see a better continent because we have not contributed to the pollution. You know, so the approach is slightly uh, uh, open and more philosophical but that's what uh, Coventia is all about and this is the real challenge, how to earn the respect of OEMs uh, because it is the OEM that makes a decision. You have to do this, you have to do that and that decision is then trickled up to tier 4 level. So how to transfer that decision at tier 4 level is what our job is right now, rather than finding out what happens at tier 4 level in terms of business, etc, etc, etc. Thank you so much, sir.